Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new speed build. Today I have a Mediterranean villa and I know I say this in literally every single video but I am so beyond excited to share this one because I think this might be one of my favorite houses that I've ever done. Like ever. I, I love it so much. I love every single part of it. Like there's not a single thing about this house that I do not like. Like and that's I, that's rare for me to say because <laughs> I don't know I just I tend not to like like my stuff like obviously I like them enough to like post them and stuff like that but I am not one to boast or brag and stuff like that about houses that I make but this one I am I'm in love with I love this house so much um I built this a couple of weeks ago I was gonna say a couple of weeks ago I feel like it's more like a couple of months ago I did post a progress picture on Twitter while I was building it so if you saw it back then you will know that I've it, it's this has been in like my uh, my needed to be edited for a while and um yeah I finally got it finished editing again it's a long video and that's why like it hasn't come out sooner um because I knew it was gonna be long I knew that like it is a one-story house but it is and it's not like too big it is relatively big I think but um yeah it's it's a, it's a one-story house but it has a lot of detail in it so um that's why it's so long so i know it's gonna be long so i kind of put it off but yeah just grab a snack grab something to drink just i don't know just chill here for a bit <laughs> um again i think i've said this before and like when i make long videos but like you know just just chill do what you want i know some people have my videos on in the background kind of as like podcasts um, which is really fun and I kind of feel honored um, and then I know some people like watch them when they're going to sleep which I do a lot of time like I have a kind of like a tradition that I watch um, and this is gonna be so weird but like uh, Jessica Pye if you know like I think everyone knows who she is at this point she's a freaking amazing builder um, she's probably like my favorite speed builder right now and has been for a few months and I kind of like every time because she posts on Fridays and so every Friday like I know that I'm gonna have a video to watch uh and her videos are usually pretty long so like I end up just watching that in bed uh when I can't sleep and it kind of just like I don't know like calms me down or whatever because like it's something to watch that I and then I also get like a lot of ideas and stuff like that so I don't know it's just really nice and I know that some people have commented when I mentioned that before that like I do that too and stuff like that with your videos and I'm, I feel kind of honored about that too so yeah I hope you guys have a good sleep if you do that because then I usually end up like I usually end up watching um for instance like her videos over a few days so I know that some people might do that too with this one that you might not watch this in one sitting which is totally understandable because again it's an almost an hour long video and uh let me tell you it was going to be longer when I put this in into my editing software and sped it up to like I even sped it up a little bit more than normal so I'm so sorry if it's a little bit dizzying but I hope it's not too dizzying um I sped it up a, just just a little bit <laughs> more than usual um but you know when I sped it up it was all over two hours long um that's what after I sped it up so I had a lot to edit out um however I didn't edit out like too much or too much of like important stuff um obviously i ended uh i edited out <laughs> i don't know where i ended um i edited out um part of the landscaping i always do that like i edited out like my normal stuff like part of the landscaping i only show one bathroom and stuff like that i also ended up editing out um two of the hallways i think there's actually not that many hallways in this house i am super happy with the floor plan for this house and overall um and yeah i will go in i will actually talk a lot about this house today i think which is rare for me again i usually talk like i usually ramble a lot which i will do as well but i definitely think that there's a lot for me to talk about with this house so i'm kind of excited um but yeah no i really love the floor plan but there ends up being kind of like two hallways out of the living room sort of that I don't show you but there are uh, like I think there's one screenshot of it and obviously there's a floor plan screenshot and stuff like that and if you decide to download this you will see it then too so it shouldn't be like too much that you miss um, and then I also edited out the laundry room I didn't want to do that because I do really like how the laundry room ended up looking but it was just I, I did not want this video to be over an hour so I did end up editing out the laundry room but yeah, so I didn't end up editing out like too much. Like that's just kind of like my normal. So I don't know. I maybe I was just taking a lot of pauses with this. I don't know. But somehow I ended up editing out over an hour, which is great. Um, but yeah. So again, just sit back, relax, um, listen to me ramble and talk about this house for a bit, <laughs> I guess. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Again, I absolutely 
love this house. I, a couple of weeks ago, again, when I built this, so by the way, this house, I, all the packs and stuff like that will be listed down below. However, I can't tell you right now that I built this house before Growing Together even came out. So it does not have the two new kits that came out like two weeks ago, I think now. And it does not have anything from the Growing Together expansion pack. Um, but yeah, so just be prepared. If, so if you don't have that, you can download it. Um, if you want to add something from any of the new packs and stuff like that, if you're watching this in the future, if you want to add something from a pack that I don't even know about yet, you can of course do that. As always, like you can download this from the gallery and do whatever the freaking you want to do with it. Like I don't care. <laughs> as long as you don't upload it and claim it as your own. I'm totally fine with whatever you do to it because it's basically your house then, but I just don't want you to take credit for my work. So that that's it. That's literally all there is to it. Um, so yeah, but I, uh, again, this is not pack restricted, but I just wanted to mention that. So you're not like, but why did you not put this item in from this pack or this kit or whatever? And I'm like, but that that's why like the, the pack didn't, like it wasn't out when I built this. <laughs> so yeah, but I built this then I guess like almost two months ago, I think now at this point. Um, and I was really in the mood to build something Mediterranean. I had sort of recently when I built this, built my uh, Tartosa Villa, I think. And I was really just like coming off of that like Mediterranean feel. And I was like, I want to build more. And um, so I was looking at my save file for like places I needed to build and stuff like that, um, or for my save file. And I knew I needed to build on this lot, which by the way, this lot is a 40 by 30, I think. And it's, I think originally it's the lot where Johnny Sest lives. Um, so either if you want to have this in your save file, either you put it on this lot and just move Johnny Sest or just delete him, or you uh, place this on another 40 by 30. I, that, it's pretty easy. Like, it doesn't have to be on the slot. It's not tailored to the slot specifically. It's just, like, lot size, and then it's fine. Um, but, yeah, so I um, kn knew that I wanted to have, like, I, I needed a house for this lot, <laughs> if that makes sense. And for this part of, um, I almost said Willow Creek and Windenburg. I don't know why this is Oasis Springs, obviously. For this part of Oasis Springs, uh, I have obviously, I've decided that I want to have this like very Mediterranean feel, but that I also want the houses to not be like too big and too like flashy and stuff like that. And I think I've built two houses for my save file here earlier on the channel. One is like one of the first videos I ever posted, which is a kind of like smaller Mediterranean house. And the other one is a starter house. Um, and so I knew that for this one, I wanted it to not be like too big, especially since it is a 40 by 30, I knew that I would have like a tendency kind of to make it a little bit big. Um, especially if I did like two stories, I decided to do one story and I found this picture on Pinterest, which I will plop up on the screen, um, which I just got really, I don't know, inspired by. And, um, by the way, <laughs> if you're wondering like, wow, like the, ch the shell of this build came out like really quickly and stuff like that. That's because I had already built it once just to make sure that it worked. And I've talked about it before that I do that a lot. Like I usually, before I press record, will go in once and kind of just see. So like I know kind of that it works, like the shell works and stuff like that, because it happens a lot of the time. I will find a picture on Pinterest. I like it. I will try it and like out in the game and it just won't look as good as I thought. So I will just scrap that idea. Um, but yeah, so I did it for this one. And I think in that picture, there's like the part where I, will you see like the front door and stuff like that is, um, I think originally it's kind of like a curved, like it's a round wall or whatever. And I did try that originally, but I just, I liked more of the boxy look. So that's kind of what I went for. And I absolutely love the front yard and the backyard. I am so freaking in love with, again, like every single part of this house, but I, I just love it. I love that it's kind of like a fenced in, not a courtyard, but like it's fenced in. And I love that I put like, there's like a garage to the right. And I love that I put like fairy lights <laughs> under that because there's a little bit of an overhang. Um, and I love that. And I love that there is on the right, no, on the right, <laughs> on the left, there's this kind of like building or a little, like little house that is separate from the main house itself. If I don't, if you can probably tell. Um, and I decided to make it sort of like a, I was gonna say a bridge, it's not a bridge, but like there's a, 
I don't know, like a pathway between that, but then I put like a roof and stuff like that over it. I don't know. You'll see it. I really, really like it. That room on the right, I had no idea what I was going to be. So what 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 I was going to be, what it was going to be. So it's actually the last room you will see me do uh, because I kind of like saved it for last and I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm just going to like finish the main house and then whatever kind of I feel like is left and stuff like that. And like kind of what I feel like, especially after I didn't done the bedrooms and what I kind of know like what type of sims are going to be living here then I can kind of figure out what that is going to be so in the end it actually ends up being a little movie room which I find is really exciting because I haven't done one in so long if ever on the channel I think and yeah it just ends up being like a little movie room and stuff like that which works out very well for the sims that are going to be living here in my save file and stuff like that and before I get into and for once I kind of have like some sims in mind which is Something new, uh, it doesn't happen a lot of the time, but for this time I actually have a few sims, especially since this is also going to be for my save file, I had a few ideas of the sims that are going to be living here. Um, but before I get into that, I just want to say, like, if you do decide to download this from the gallery, you, again, you don't have to play with the type of sims that I'm talking about or the dynamic, like the people that I'm thinking are going to be living here, the dynamic, the ages, and or like anything like that. Again, you can do whatever you want to this house. If you want to make something into a kid's bedroom that is not a kid's bedroom, you can do that. And that goes for like all my houses. Again, do what you want as long as you don't take credit for my work. Like, I, I don't care. Just do what you want. Um, but yeah, so this house is actually not a family home. I know, it's surprising. <laughs> If you're new here, almost all the videos I make or all the builds I make are family homes, but this one is not. It's for four roommates, which I find is just very exciting for me because, again, I haven't done that in so long. And I, again, knew for, again, for my safe file, like, I don't all, I don't want all the houses to be for um, families and stuff like that. I want there to be, like, sims of all ages and, you know, stuff like that. So I decided to make this and I, I decided to turn this into a roommate's house and I love it. I, I absolutely love it. And I think that might be also, like, part of why I love this house so much is because I got to put, like, I got to kind of decorate it in a way that I don't normally decorate things. Again, like, I put the movie room because I was thinking that, um, again, I'm go also going to go out go in more in detail of the four sims that I imagine living here and like their dynamic and how they know each other and stuff like that but I was just imagining them like inviting friends over and just watching movies and stuff like that and I think that's just really precious and then also in the backyard I put this there's kind of like a huge patio cor sort of <laughs> it was it court of I don't know what how that happened but sort of and um there's also like a pool connected to it and I put like I was just imagining them like chilling there out like the there's a dining table and stuff like that and I was thinking that they probably host a lot of like dinners and you know stuff like that out there and they have I don't know I don't know I don't think this is like a party house but they have you know friends coming over or people over and stuff like that and I also just think that they enjoy like each other's company if that makes sense and I just again imagine them to have I don't know, just dinners out there and stuff like that. And again, I put a lot of fairy lights there. I think it's just super, super cozy. There's also some sun lounges and stuff like that. And I just, I really like it. Um, if you ever watch the Fosters, um, obviously that's a like family house and stuff like that, but they have like a lot of the time in the backyard of the, of that house that they're in, they have a lot of like parties and stuff like that. And I know they, they end up having like a wedding and you know, stuff like that. And I was kind of imagining that this was similar to that where like the backyard is a main kind of like a main point in the house especially like when it's good weather but it's always spring so I don't think it's gonna be raining here that much but yeah I was just imagining them to like hang out there and stuff like that and I'm super proud of the back garden uh back garden the backyard <laughs> and yeah I don't know I just I really like it and also the living room and like the entire house I wanted to be not open concept per se but I wanted to feel sort of open and um, again, like, there's no children living here, so, I don't know, I just, I don't know, but I feel like you'll be able to tell a difference. <laughs> um, I also really like the dining room, which is a very weird, like, very weird thing to say, but I really like the dining room because I used, like, specifically two things that I never do. I did use a lot of stuff in this build that I, like, normally don't, which I find, again, very exciting. And just, I've just, I don't know, I just, I love this build so much, but, um, I used dining chairs from... I think it's from Seasons and I never ever use these dining chairs. It's the one with the like really high back and you will see them when I do the dining room, but I absolutely loved using them and 
Again, I never use them because I don't feel like they are very, again, like they're not like a family home. Like you, you don't have them in a family home. For some reason, I feel like they're more, a little bit more fancy. They're not, but I feel like that. And I was imagining the Sims to be living here that they, they don't really eat in the dining room like too often. It's mostly if they have like a dinner party and stuff like that. Otherwise they probably eat. I was gonna say in the kitchen, but now that I think of it, I don't know if there's an island for them to sit at. Or they just eat in their rooms or they eat in front of the TV and, you know, stuff like that. Like, I wasn't imagining them to sit at the dining room too much. So it kind of fitted. And then I also put the kind of, like, record player from uh, Get Famous, I think. And I never used that object, like, ever. But I think it just fitted very well in there. And I just, I like the idea of them just, like, playing music, having, like, a dinner party. Again, I wasn't imagining that this house was, like, a party house, per se. Like, I wasn't imagining them to have, like huge loud parties but i was imagining them more to have again like dinner parties and stuff like that so yeah kind of just to be like very chill people um but yeah i, I don't know i just i really like using that and like I, again it's not something i would use in a family home because i don't think of that stuff so yeah um but again like <laughs> i'm sorry if you heard anything squeaking it's my chair i don't know why my chair is being like so squeaky today it's very questionable i i don't know but yeah, um, again, I'm just, I'm so freaking happy about this build and how it turned out, and I hope you guys like it too. Um, yeah, I did, of course, playtest this build, and everything, it, I think, at least worked. If you don't listen from the gallery, everything will be working, but yeah, if I had to change anything, just look in the screenshots, because that's how it ends up looking when you download from the gallery, but I don't think I had to change anything, not that I remember, at least. Um, oh, yeah, also, one of my other, like, favorite parts of this build, which is super super weird and like a like something i never have fun doing really at all are the bathrooms i know it's weird i think ever since the bathroom clutter kit or whatever it's called came out i've been having a lot more fun with making bathrooms and i think i built this not like the week and stuff like that of that but like within like sort of around when that came out i guess maybe within like the, the I don't know, the same like two weeks when that came out or something like that. Um, or some, I, I'm not sure, but like it was around that time. And so I was just having a lot of fun like exploring that again. Um, again, well, exploring that overall, I guess. Um, sorry, my voice is going. It's really late too, by the way. It's like 4.30 a.m. So um, if I sound a little bit off and stuff like that, that's why. But yeah, um, basically again, like I just, I had so much fun decorating the bathrooms for this house and I spent a lot of time doing it so maybe that's why I was also able to like edit out a lot of stuff uh because I just edited out like all the bathrooms except for one but I don't know I just had a lot of fun decorating them and yeah I don't know it's just such a weird thing as well but I do absolutely love the bathrooms so I hope you guys like them too I guess <laughs> but so about the sims that are going to be living here I guess I should talk about them a little bit <laughs> um I wasn't sure if I was going to do it now or if I was going to wait until I do the bedrooms for them but knowing me I will probably end up going on a rant sometime and then forget to talk about him so I'm gonna talk about him now and yeah so the first bedroom you will see me make is off of the dining room and I I love this bedroom it's so cute again I, th I love all the bedrooms um I think my favorite is the last one but I do love all of them but for that bedroom it's very pink and I was imagining a youtuber to be living there which again it's not something I do normally but as these are like again I was imagining these sims to be like young adults like in their 20s just like you know figuring life out and stuff like that so I was imagining one of them to be a youtuber um and that's that's them in that room and I was thinking that they're just a very like sweet sim I don't know what type of youtube videos they make but I don't know I just I was kind of thinking of like Suella if you know who that is which I think that a lot of people will but I don't know how many people like kids nowadays know the like, I don't, I don't know, like, do, do you guys know Suella if you're a kid now? Because I, I mean, I obviously grew up with her and stuff like that. I wasn't, I didn't watch her that much because I watched a lot of, like, Swedish YouTube, obviously, when I was younger because I wasn't the best at English, but I obviously know who Suella is and I've watched, like, videos of hers and stuff like that, but I was thinking that they're kind of like Suella and just, like, a very, just, like, sweet and kind person who just, you know, like, just, just seems very sweet and kind and not one that is, like, in any drama and, or anything like that so yeah I don't know I just I really I, I'm just I can't wait to the, to also make all of these sims because I haven't made them yet but I can't wait for, to make them because I don't know just imagine them to be like the sweetest sim ever and to just like help out if you need them to and stuff like that but also kind of you know be a 
relatively big YouTuber, but not like too big. But they're also not one of those that like let the fame go through their head. Like they're just a very sweet person. Um, which also, by the way, for how I imagine these four Sims to have met, I'm not 100% sure if they met in like high school or college or something like that, or if they met like they, they had this house, <laughs> like they met kind of like through being roommates. I'm not sure. However, I was imagining them to not be like you wouldn't imagine these people to be friends. Like, you know, I, I think we all <laughs> know those people where it's like you see them out with their friends and you're like, that's your friends. Like, that's not who I imagine you hang out with. But, you know, that's kind of like I was imagining these people to not be, again, the people they that other people would imagine them like hanging out with and stuff like that but they're all just very close they're the best of friends and stuff like that but they might not be the most they most might not have like a lot of things in common all the time but they they are still like very very close and yeah i don't know i just i really like that idea <laughs> i think you all know like what i mean um again my voice is dying it's actively dying i am really sorry and we have like thir we have 40 minutes left basically of this video like 30 minutes, maybe more. Dear Lord, how am I going to make through this? But I, I, will, I will do it. I will, I'll make it through. Um, but yeah, again, I was just imagining these two just be four, like, really, really good friends. And they're always there for each other. And they're really close. But they're not maybe, like, the people you would imagine them to hang out with if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that's the, the first bedroom again was for the YouTuber. That's just very kind and just, you know, just likes pink also <laughs> and then the second bedroom you'll see me do i was imagining them to i'm not sure like what they do for work or whatever but i know that they're into music maybe they're an aspiring musician i'm not sure uh but they're into music and also sports um and i was imagining them to just be like really funny and just like kind of like the life of the party kind of like a a little bit of like a i was gonna say class clown but not really but like very popular but like not popular because they were a jock or anything like that maybe they probably were a jock but they were like a funny jock if that makes sense um in high school and i was just imagining them to be like again just really funny just having a lot of friends um and not really like just you know just like living life just like being out there living life just chilling. Um, if you've watched, <laughs> this is gonna be weird. I don't know why, but like the only picture that popped into my head for this, and I don't know why. Um, <laughs> if you've watched Six of Crows, I was imagining Jasper. Jasper. I think his name is Jasper. 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 One of the two. Um, I think like it. Not Six of Crows. The, the show is Shadow and Bone. The book is Six of Crows. But if you know Jasper from those, um, I was imagining sort of that, or I don't know if it's jasper like the character or if it's kit the actor but like one out of two if that makes sense just like again just kind of like very talented in a lot of different ways but a lot of fun as well and just yeah, i don't know if, if that makes sense to people it makes sense if it doesn't i'm sorry <laughs> but that's like the best description i can make um and then for the third bedroom which was actually the only bedroom I knew that I kind of, like, I knew I wanted this personality in the house, and it ends, ended up being in this house, well, not personality, but I knew what I wanted them to work with, because I haven't done this before, I think, and they're a graphic designer, which I think also is kind of just, I, I don't know, I just, I did a lot of things for this house that I haven't done before, and I had just so much fun with it, um, but yeah, they're a graphic designer, and yeah, I don't know, I just, that's basically like the main part of it but they're a graphic designer um there's also room for a dog in this house by the way and i was imagining that the dog is theirs like they brought the dog in like it's theirs but i think like all of them just love it and like goes out and walk and walk well <laughs> i can't speak i'm sorry goes out and walks with it and stuff like that but i was imagining like that sim just like owns the dogs the dogs the dog there's one dog um so there's the, like a little dog bed in there and stuff like that but i also imagine that sim to be kind of like the, the cook of the house like they really like cooking um and the dog bed that i put in that room is the little like egg one if that makes sense i think if you i think it's from uh my first pet stuff i think so but it's it's such a cute little dog bed i i love the dog bed so much but i find it hard to use sometimes because it's not really like it, it's kind of out there but i think it worked really well in that room um but yeah i don't know i just imagine that to be like again a graphic designer who likes to cook and likes his dog i was thinking that they're not the most like compared to the one that i just described they're not the sim that is like 
really like outgoing or like really really funny but they're kind of more like not sheltered but i don't know much more just like a drawn back person very chill like they have their friends obviously and they love having friends and dinner parties and stuff like that but they also just like you know, it's just a very chill person, if that makes sense. I think we all know someone like that. Um, and then the fourth bedroom and the final bedroom, which I think might be my favorite, is actually the one that has, like, the least... It has a lot of personality, but I wasn't thinking of, like, what they do. Like, I have no idea what they do. I just know that they love plants. I was thinking that there's a lot of plants in this house, as always. It's me. What do you expect? There's a lot of plants and fairy lights, of course. Um, but... I was imagining that that sim that lives in that in like that room is kind of the person that take care like takes care of all the plants and stuff like that, and I was imagining them to be like a very just like bubbly person and very happy person. Um, that ha bedroom ends up being relatively colorful, I would say, um, and I absolutely love it so much. And yeah, I also was imagining that they really like travel. I do put, um, we have this side table that I think came from City Living. There are like suitcases that are stacked um, and I end up like rotating them, stuff like that and putting them next to the bed. And then also there is next to their desk, there is a little like cork board with just like a lot of postcards. And I was imagining that that sim probably likes to travel, um, but maybe does not like have the funds to do it like all the time. But so like, but when when they can they like to travel um and yeah i was again just imagining them to be like a very bubbly sim i just i don't know i just i really like i think that might be my favorite room and also sim because i don't know i just i really like it i ended up using again like it's pretty colorful i ended up like going off of a bed that came from uh, the high school years pack, I'm pretty sure. Um, but then I was able to use a shelf that I've been wanting to use for so long, which is weird to say a shelf, but I have been wanting to use the shelf for a very long time. And I think it came with the pastel pop kit, I think is what it's called. And it's this shelf that has like kind of three parts to it. And it's kind of this, it, I was gonna say it looks like, like a ceramics, not really, but it has this like, I don't know, th the shape is a little bit weird of it if that makes sense. And it comes in a few different like really weird colors. Um, and I have tried to use it in so many houses, but it's also like way too big to use in a lot of spaces. And also again, the colors are a little bit weird and stuff like that, but I was able to pull it off, I think in this house and in, in this house, in that room. And I just, I really like it. And so I hope you guys like it too. And again, it, it fits very well with the color scheme in there. So yeah, those are kind of the sims. And they're not like, it's not a fleshed out storyline or anything like that, but they have a little bit of personality, I was thinking, and I can't wait to make these sims and like, I don't know, not play with them because I, I don't really play the game that, like that, but I can't wait to, again, just like make the sims for my save file and stuff like that. And for when my save file is out, which I don't know when, it will be out at some point, um, but like for when my save file is out, like I'm just very excited to, to... I don't know, just have you guys interact with these sims in the world and stuff like that. Because I also wanted to have, again, for my safe because there's a lot of, like, family homes, I don't know how many people are going to be, like, single and stuff like that. And obviously, if you're playing this game, you, you need some single people. Um, so I think I'm going to make all of these sims single. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, so, like, there's a little bit more of people you can hang out with and, you know, just, like, young adults you can hang out with, too. Because I think a lot of the time when I end up making families, I make the parents, like, adults, and maybe if you're playing as a young adult, which I, uh, every time, like, I do start a game, I always end up starting as a young adult, and then I find it kind of hard sometimes to find other young adult sims, so I wanted to make sure that I still have a lot of young adults in my save file, um, but yeah, I don't know, I just, I love this house so much, I know I've said it, like, so many times already, but I do just absolutely love this house, and yeah, I'm just, I can't wait for you guys to see it. I can't wait for you guys to tell me what you think. Tell me what bedroom is your favorite if you do end up making it through the entire video. Tell me what bedroom you like and, like, kind of what sim you like the most, if that makes sense. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I just, I just, I, I really like the idea of just four friends just, like, living together, having... I don't know, their time of their lives and just in their 20s and just, you know, figuring life out. Again, just like figuring life out. Uh, because I think a lot of the time, again, when I do um, like family homes, I focus not so much maybe on the parents, but like on teens and stuff like that. And I don't know, I just, I like the idea again of focusing more on people in their 20s because 
that's gonna be me soon. <laughs> I am 19, don't worry, like I'm not in my 20s yet, but um, I will be in my 20s technically next year, but like I don't really feel like it, but I was imagining that these are probably in their mid 20s, but I will be in my 20s like relatively soon. And so I feel like I maybe, maybe I'm like the more, like the older I get, obviously I'll be able to resonate more with that. So it was fun making a house and like thinking of people in that age range because it's it's where I'm going. I have a lot of friends in their 20s. Um, I'm at like a weird point in my life because I have a lot of friends that are like in their teens. Well, like obviously like late teens maybe, but like late teens, but like also like mid 20s. Like it's such a weird, it's a weird place to be at sometimes because you don't really know what to do because like some people are like still like in high school well, some people are literally like getting married and having kids or like, you know, stuff like that. And it's like, it's so weird. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think, I think a lot of people could relate to that, especially if you have online friends. I think you can definitely relate to that because I meet a lot of friends in different age groups. So I will have friends that are like, oh yeah, no, I'm like becoming an aunt and stuff like that. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> Granted, I could become an aunt too, because like my brother is what, like, he turns 27 this year, so, like, it wouldn't be, like, too weird, um, for me to be an aunt now, but, you know, it's weird. Also, like, my boyfriend, um, who is, like, obviously the same age as me, like, he, again, he has a nephew. <laughs> he has a whole ass nephew, um, that is, I think, like, three or four. He is, by the way, the cutest thing on earth. Um, I think I tweeted about it the other day, but he called me Mouse instead of Mal, which is just adorable. I can't wait to meet him. Um, I've, like, obviously talked to him in, like, through VC and calls and stuff like that, and he has seen me and, you know, stuff like that, but I can't wait to actually meet him because... He's just so adorable. Obviously, I can't meet him back, like, my boyfriend and stuff like that, too. But, like, it's just, it's so adorable. <laughs> I don't, I've never really been the biggest fan of kids, but, like, that kid is adorable. Um, <laughs> just really, just really adorable. Um, so, yeah, again, like, it's, it's weird because, like, I still think sometimes that I'm, like, not a kid, obviously, but, like, I don't know, I just, I forget that people are, like, becoming aunts and uncles, but... Also, some of them are, like, getting married themselves and having kids and, you know, stuff like that. Like, it's just, it's really weird for me. <laughs> it's really weird. I think I just, like, forget that I am, like, I'm turning 20 next year. I forget that sometimes. Not sometimes. I forget that all the time. Um, I like to believe that I'm not as old as I am. Granted, I'm not old either, but, you know, um, it's weird. Also, because I am the oldest, sort of, depends on, like, I'm the, okay, right, in my friend group, we are like a lot of different people like we're a pretty big friend group but like of the people that I talk to literally every day I am the oldest and so like sometimes I forget that like I'm not that old but like I feel old because my my friends are like a year or two younger than me most of them uh some of them are like the same year and some are like and some of my other friends are also like older than me so like but you know again like my main friend group that I talk to every single day they're all uh either the same year as me a year old, younger or the year after that um so it's just again it's just it's weird it's it's sometimes weird to think that i'm like because i'm not again i'm not old but i feel old sometimes because and also they call me old all the time they also call me short though which i'm not right okay i need help with this because <laughs> my friend group has a thing where they all like bully me for being short i am five six right i am not that short i am average <laughs> I'm I was supposed to be taller, but then because of health reasons, I'm not. And granted, my entire family also calls me short because, well, not my fault. My dad and my brother are freaking giants. My brother, I think, is like five, five, what, no, he's like six, five or six, six. He's tall. My, br my dad is, I think, like six, three or six, four, also tall. And so here I am at five, six and um, being called short. Because it's not my fault, again, that my body just decided, like, no, we're gonna give up a little bit and just not make it so that you can grow and some other stuff. Like, again, I have some health issues, but, like, dude. But, like, tell me in the comments, am I short? Like, would you bully me for being short? Because my friend just do... My, my friend... My friend? My friends do it all the time. Which is funny because we also have some other people in, my fr in our friend group that are... Like, they are shorter than me, but they will still call me short. I don't understand it. I, I guess it's kind of like a bit at this point, but like, come on, dude. Come on. 
Um, but yeah, also speaking of my friends, <laughs> which I can't, I know I speak to my friends like all the time. However, I was just in a call with my best friend, um, like right before I started doing this voiceover and I said like, oh yeah, no, I'm going to go and like record a voiceover and stuff like that. And he was like, oh, good luck. Like you can do it. Have fun. Like it will be, it will, it will be great. And I was like, dude, you don't even watch my videos. And he was like, I do. And I was like, okay, you don't watch my video with sound on. Cause a lot of my friends, they are very supportive of me doing YouTube, but they don't, they don't watch Sims things. They don't play Sims. They don't care. They don't like, you know, and so they will, a lot of the time, just to be supportive, they will just, like, put on my video, but, like, have it muted, but they, so they, you know, they will still support me, and they will sometimes just go in and, like, like it, and so, like, like in the algorithm and stuff like that, because uh, some of them are also, like, content creators, so they get it, and I find that just, like, very, very kind and sweet, um, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry I paused just then <laughs> in my video preview, like, obviously, as I'm recording the voiceover, I'm kind of, like, watching the video as well, it just kind of paused weirdly, and I think it was just my editing software like lagging so sorry if they paused because i was like uh did i edit something wrong but i don't think so um but yeah no so like my videos my my friends will be very like supportive and stuff like that but i told him like but you don't even watch them sound on and he was like well uh i will now just for that and i was like bruh don't because i talk about you guys and they know that i talk about them they know that um and i obviously don't talk about stuff that they wouldn't want me like they're not okay with me talking about uh but he was like now i have to watch and i was like no <laughs> don't because i also have this thing and again if you're a content creator too let me know if this is a thing for you too but i have this thing where like i'm not obviously ashamed of making like videos like obviously i love it i'm not ashamed of it at all um but i i hate it and I, it's it's been like this since i started youtube i hate it when my friends will like watch my videos with me there or like comment on something i said in my videos or something like that or it's the same with my like my mom she will sometimes do it too i don't know if she watches my videos anymore i'm sorry if you heard again my sweet my chair is just squeaking a lot i don't know if she watches my videos anymore but she used to um when i first started posting and sometimes she would just like make like an just, and like passing conversation but just like make a comment of like something i said in a video and i was like stop i don't i don't know i don't know i just i get so kind of like embarrassed if that makes sense i don't know i just i i, I don't know i just i don't like it <laughs> I don't like it. Um, and so I don't know if that's like a weird thing that I have or if that's like normal if you make content because like obviously I don't mind them watching it. I don't find that at all. But it's as soon as they start talking about it with me around that I just I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> so yeah, if you're a friend of mine and you watch this, don't talk about it around like with me around, please. I just I don't know, I hate it. Like again, you can just say like you watched it, like that's fine, like thank you, but just don't 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 talk to me about things that I talk about because a lot of the time also I end up, I end up rambling. Obviously my friends are used to it, like <laughs> they are very used to me rambling, but a lot of time I get I just end up I end up going a rants. And also a lot of the time they will not understand what I'm talking about because I sometimes I say sometimes because um I'm not the best at talking about what I'm actually doing in like the game and stuff like that, but sometimes I talk about sim stuff and they don't understand. Again, they don't play sims. They have never played Sims. Oh yeah, mm, okay. some of them have, but they don't play it actively and they have not played it, I think any of them since like Sims 3. So not, not, okay, just no, <laughs> no, but yeah, um, I don't know how I went on that friend. I don't even know how that started, but yeah, um, I, I don't know what to talk about now because it's me. <laughs> so of course I don't. Um, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. I am doing well. Um, I am, I don't know, I'm just happy to be home again. I think I talked about it in my last video. I've been home from Greece now for like a week, but still it's like after you've been gone, it's kind of hard sometimes to like get back into things, especially again, because when I was in Greece, I was in Athens, if you didn't know, um, I kind of like, again, I actually woke up around like nine each day and then it was up until like midnight or stuff like that. And then, or like longer, um, actually I think more like one or two was probably when I fell asleep um but like and during the day I was actually like out in the sun and I was doing things and you know stuff like that and that's rare for me to do now <laughs> because if you didn't know I am currently not in school or anything like that because of mental stuff and some things happened at school so I can't it, a lot of things is going on basically I'm not in school anymore so I kind of don't 
have that rhythm anymore and it was weird going back to it because I've kind of like let my body do the rhythm that it wants to be in so I will sleep when I want to I'll be awake when I want to you know stuff like that um obviously with some like restrictions I don't like sleep all day <laughs> every day if that's what I need to I will sometimes but I don't I try not to um but I um wait what was I gonna say <laughs> I basically and also like I have like stuff sometimes to do like I have therapy to go to I have some classes like I have, I have talked about before I go to like a pottery ceramics class with my mom um I have that to go to too so like, I have some things to do but it's not like again I don't have that like eight to three every day in school and then studying and then like you know doing stuff like that and go being out in the sun like I it's not me anymore and so my body was just not used to that so now that I'm home again my body is really trying to adjust to this because it's like huh what is going on this is not normal because I've already like again turned my like sleeping schedule around again it's currently f almost 5 a.m and I'm recording this so obviously I've turned my sleeping schedule around and I'm just sleeping so weirdly too because like I went to sleep earlier because I was really I was really really tired uh, so I was like you know okay I'll like I will go to sleep it's like it was like 10 11 something I was like I'll go to sleep um I slept for an hour and then I couldn't go back to sleep and this keeps happening granted it's probably my fault because I keep I have a tendency like when I sleep to, act, to like consistently like wake up and I was checking my phone for something I think I got a message from my boyfriend or something like that or I was gonna message him about something I don't remember um and so I went on my phone and then as soon as I go on my phone I cannot fall asleep again because I get wrapped up in a conversation or just on TikTok or whatever. And so then I started my PC and then I finished editing this and stuff like that. So I still like, I decided to not just lay in bed <laughs> for hours and actually go get up and like do this. But I know for a fact that now I'm gonna finish with this. I'm probably gonna eat something because I'm starving. And then I'm gonna go to sleep at like probably six or 7 a.m. And then I'm gonna wake up at like 3 a.m. 3 a.m. <laughs> 3 p.m. 3 or 4 p.m. Um, because also I and I think it's weird because like this is how my friend group is too because either my friend group like again I talk to my friends all the time and my boyfriend like they're kind of again if I don't have things to do and I need to like and I kind of circle my sleeping schedule around anything it's more so my friends <laughs> and like when they're up and I can talk to them and stuff like that uh, because again I'm very flexible so it's more so like when they can um, and so either they are like either they are in school and stuff like that like during the day and so when I wake up it's kind of like when they're starting to get home um, or they're kind of like me and have just a freaking awful sleep schedule so they're kind of like asleep and awake when I am too um but so yeah I kind of like center my I guess my sleeping schedule sort of around when my friends get home and especially I guess again my boyfriend because he goes to college and he um is in college like he gets home around like five my time every day so like I can I think my body is kind of like okay you need to be up around now and then yeah so it's just it, it's it's weird I think I don't know again let me know if this is like something you you guys do too but I don't know I think my my body is just like okay other people are up that I can talk to I will be up other people are not on like they, they are probably up but they're not on I'll sleep <laughs> or like I'll play a game or something like that but I don't know I just I also sleep a lot like I have insomnia which I think I've talked about before but I have insomnia and I have like sleeping meds and stuff like that but they don't really help a lot of the time but I do have insomnia and I think a lot of people get like especially like my friends and stuff like that like when they when they talk to me they're like you have insomnia because you sleep a lot and I'm like I do but I also don't because I have a really hard time falling asleep and sometimes staying asleep but sometimes I can be sleeping for like hours and hours and hours like I know them like you're supposed to sleep like what like eight or seven hours and I I think um I will either like I am on or off either I will sleep like three hours or I will sleep like 13 hours <laughs> I think my record is that I once well once I think it was like in November or something like that um I also do like depression sleep is what I call it and I think this might be an actual thing but if I'm just like really depressed and just don't want to think about things and just like just you know I just I don't want to think I don't want to have to deal with things you know stuff like that I will kind of force myself to sleep but I also can't force myself to sleep because insomnia so like I will kind of force myself to sleep but also not it's it's a weird thing it's hard to explain 
<laughs> but I think, and I had that in like, I think it was November or something like that. And I slept for 27 hours. I think I was up like a little bit between that and like went to the bathroom. I think I got maybe something to eat at like some point, but like I basically slept for like 27 hours and my friends were like, are you okay? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just sleeping. <laughs> so I, I think I sleep more than I need, but like, so therefore, like, again, even though when I'm asleep, my friends and stuff like that are up and about, like, they're at school and stuff like that, and so, but then when they go to sleep is when I go to sleep. So I, like, kind of, it, it's hard to explain. I don't know how I got on this rant either, but basically, I just sleep a lot, or I sleep nothing. It's one of the two. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I, I really don't know how I got on this rant, and I don't know why, and I don't know why I kept talking about it, but I did, and I'm really sorry. Um, but yeah, what about your sleeping patterns? <laughs> are they- are they similar? Because, uh, could relate. Um, I know when I was in school, I would have days where I went, like, in- I would- I, like, I would go into school on, like, two or three hours of sleep, like, on regular, like, almost all the time. Um, like, that was kind of normal for me, so I guess maybe I'm catching up on sleep I haven't gotten in, like, I don't know, seven years or something like that. Um, maybe I'm catching up on that. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, it's- it's also, like, weird to imagine- like being in school now or like going back to again like having a rhythm like that because I've been like kind of free or whatever um since sort of it's hard basically since like June last year but I didn't officially quit until uh, October last year uh but I wasn't in school basically at all uh <laughs> between that obviously I had like summer vacation and stuff like that but when then when we started in August like between August and October I basically wasn't in at all uh because of mental health and stuff like that so yeah there, there were there were reasons we decided <laughs> that this was the best action uh course of action but yeah um yeah I don't I don't I don't know what to talk about so apparently I'm talking about sleep I don't know also my voice is giving up and I'm starting to become very tired again I'm gonna get something to eat and then I'm gonna sleep for a while <laughs> I think, um, probably honestly longer than 3 p.m. because once again, I kind of wake up usually around when my boyfriend gets home or when my friends wake up and stuff like that. But I know for a fact, again, my best friend is currently up, so he won't be up until like late tomorrow either. But, um, my boyfriend does not get home until late tomorrow because he has a tournament thingy. So I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep until probably like five or six, which is when he gets home. Um, but yeah. Which is weird. I don't know. It's it's a, it's a weird thing. Also, I know that uh, that might sound really bad. That might sound really bad that I like cater my same schedule to my boyfriend. I don't. Not all the time. A lot of the time, I will wake up and then we won't even like be on call until like a few hours later, even though he's home. So like, I promise, I'm not like. I feel like it sounds like he has control over my life like that. He doesn't. <laughs> Trust me, he does not. Um. So yeah, it's 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 like we have a very. It's weird to say this. Because I haven't been in, like, a healthy relationship or friendship in a very long time. Um, except for, like, the friends, friend group that I have now and the boyfriend, my boyfriend now. But, like, I'm really happy. Because I think that also might be, like, why I'm just, like, very relaxed right now and why I sleep like I do. Because I'm just really... I'm just happy. I'm just in a good place. I'm in a great relationship. I have the best friends. I just, you know, like, I'm just... I'm good, man. Like, I'm just chilling. I'm just vibing. <laughs> um, so yeah, anytime, because I, I just wanted to mention that because I feel like some people might be concerned that like, oh no, you should not be like letting your boyfriend control your sleeping schedule and stuff like that. Like, he's not, it, this is totally just me. I promise. <laughs> I promise you that it's not the case. He's the best person ever. Um, again, I feel like I talked about, about him too much. I'm just very happy to have him, honestly. <laughs> I don't know. I think I talked about it in a couple, like, a couple of videos ago that, like, I know I talk about my friends and my boyfriend a lot, but, again, I haven't had this in such a long time, and I just, I really love them. I really do. So, I just talk about them a lot. Also, because, again, because I'm not in school and stuff like that, like, and I spend most of my time, if not all of my time with them, you know, they're just a big part of my life, and oh my god, my eye is twitching. <laughs> I'm becoming so tired that, like, my, my left eye is currently, like, twitching. Um, I think, I think you might understand what I mean if you have ever gotten this too, but like my eyes just twitching. But yeah, I have seriously no idea what to talk about now. Like no idea. I, I don't know. I'm too tired to think. <laughs> I, 
am way too tired to think. Um, I know there were like things that I wanted to talk about, but like I don't remember what. <laughs> I don't remember what. Um, oh yeah, I think I don't have. I, oh, grammar. <laughs> I haven't talked about the new kiss that came out again like two weeks ago. I know I mentioned them briefly in the start of the video, but um, I. I haven't really talked about them because I haven't made a build yet, like, with them that you've seen. I am currently in the middle of building a house, and I am using so much of those two new kits, and I love them. I just know for a fact that the new- I, I, is it called, like, a garden- greenhouse dream something kit, whatever, the greenhouse one? I am going to use that in literally every single build ever, uh, unless I'm doing, like, practice or things, because that clutter- it's just so pretty. The new plants that we got. We have some plants that are like, the kind of, it's just like a little sprout. It's freaking adorable. Um, and I just, I love that because also again, if you didn't know, I don't, I guess, I don't think I've actually ever mentioned this, but, um, my mom and stuff like that or like, she's really into gardening and I was gonna say, so is my dad. He's not really, he just like will help my mom out and make sure that she can and stuff like that. But I come from a very like, and my grandma too, like I come from a very like gardener family. And so I am used to having like in the kitchen, especially like in, in our kitchen, like one of the windowsills in the, our kitchen, we have like, I don't know, like some herbs that we're growing. We have a huge, like not huge, but we, in my old house, we have like a whole like kind of like garden, like I was gonna say like a patch, <laughs> what's it called? I was a pumpkin catch. It's not what it's called, but like, you know, where we could grow things, stuff like that here. We also have that. Um, we just, we really like that type of stuff. So just being able to put that little, like that little, little sprout plant, like in a kitchen and stuff like that. Like it just, I, I, I love it so much. It's also, it's so small. It's so cute. But then also the other plant, like the other, um, plant that we got that is like, we got a lot of like, um, what, not, oh my God, what are they called? Pots and stuff like that. We got pots and stuff like that but like the other like plant like it's a little small again plant you put it on like a table so pretty it has like vines coming out of it and just i'm gonna use that in every single video or every single video every single build that i build from here on i just i love it so much it's so cute it looks like cc it really does but i just i'm gonna use that so much and yeah so um i will be posting a video with that sort of soon not yet but like in the p next couple of weeks but yeah, I just, I, I love those two kits so much. So if you, um, if you're thinking of getting them, get them. I also, there's like this little like record, uh, holder thingy that we got from the basement kit using that all the time. There's a lamp from the basement kit, like a, um, like standing lamp. <laughs> what are they called? I don't know. Um, that lamp I'm in love. I will use that all the time. It's my new like obsession. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I've, I've been really really loving those two kits so yeah i don't know i again for kits i know they're very controversial but if we're not gonna get stuff pack i for the stuff packs i will i will i will like the kits then anyways that is basically it for this video <laughs> i really hope you liked it don't forget to like share comment and of course subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one